This is a video shared by Dr. A. Sunny Frederick from Bijaya, Algeria. Once manipulations at the vitreous base are significantly harder to perform in fake patients, we must take some special care to avoid lens touch during lens sparing vitrectomies. This is a case of a 59-year-old male patient with a rigmatogenous retinal detachment involving macula in his right eye and with a single break in for the temporal. In this case, vitrectomy was performed sparing the crystalline lens. So, at first you need to place the trochers at 4 mm from the limbos in fake eyes. During our vitrectomy, it is important to keep the instruments away from the lens and avoid as much as possible to cross the vitrector or illumination probe toward the contralateral meridian. In this case, after PVD induction, the surgeon used the perfluorocarbon liquid to flatten the retina and to condensate the peripheral vitreous. Triancinolone was used to stain the peripheral vitreous and to facilitate the shaving. Vitreous base excision is made using mute scleral indentation behind the aura serrata and with low infusion to avoid trauma in the crystalline lens. Movements that make the intorsion or extorsion of the globe can help to better assess the periphery of the retina without touching the lens. Then, the tear is marked with a 25 gauge endodiatermy before the fluid are exchanged. This is important especially in cases of small round breaks or in myopic fundus in which it is easier to miss the tear position because of the worst visualization with the air interface. After completing the fluid air exchange, retinopexy was made with the cryo probe. And in the end of the procedure, 20% SF6 gas was chosen as tamponate. This patient had a good outcome with the retina attached after the surgery and with the best corrected visual acuity of 60 over 100.